Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. This is me Faraz Kurban Rajpar and in this video lecture I am going to discuss with you about the anatomy and histology of the human nervous system. There are the main two types of the nervous system. One is the central nervous system and second is the peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord. So this is the anatomical view of the central nervous system it contain the two organs one is the brain and second one is the spinal cord on the other hand peripheral nervous system contain the peripheral nerve apart from the central nervous system organ that are the brain and spinal cord so peripheral nervous system basically consists of the cranial nerve spinal nerve and the ganglia Ganglion are basically the group of neuron cells that are located outside the CNS. Means ganglion are those neuron cells that are located out of the brain and spinal cord region. So all these nerves are basically the part of the peripheral nervous system which are outside the CNS. Sensory division and motor division. These are the two main division of the nervous system. One is the sensory division. Sensory division is that that receives the information or signal from the different body organ and transmit it toward the central nervous system that is the brain and spinal cord for the processing. For example, they contain the somatic sensory component and second one is the visceral sensory component. Somatic sensory component receive the sensory information from different organs like skin, joints, muscle and other special senses of human body. On the other hand, visceral sensory component receives the sensory information from the blood vessel and other visceral organ of the human body. The second division of the nervous system is the motor division. Motor division is that division that transmits the information from the central nervous system towards the muscles and glands. For example, they contain the somatic motor component which consists of the innervate skeletal muscle. And second one is the autonomic motor component or the autonomic nervous system that innervate the smooth muscle cardiac muscle gland of the visceral organs nervous tissue basically each nervous system is consist of the nervous tissue that is made up of the cell that are the neuron neuron are the those cell of nervous system that responds to the stimuli or signal and conduct the nerve impulse this is the diagram for the neuron it contains the different body part like dendrite cell body Exon myelin sheath. Glial cell. These are those nervous tissue cells that support and protect the neuron. Means they are involved in the maintenance of neuron. Means they are the covering of the neurons. Neuron composition. Basically, neuron cell is composed of the different parts. One is the cell body. This one is the cell body region of the neuron cell. Second is the nucleus. This region is the central part is the nucleus yellow color. Third are the dendrites. Dendrites are basically these type of projection. Exon and other is the synapses where the two neurons meet together. Neuron classification. So neuron or the nervous cell can be classified on the basis of the signal that they carry. One of the type is the sensory or the efferent neuron. Sensory or efferent neuron are those that brings the information towards the CNS. Means they bring the information from different organ to CNS means towards the brain and spinal cord for processing. Other is the motor or efferent neuron that takes the information from the CNS to the other part of the body that are located in the CNS. Interneuron are also known as the association neuron. They are involved in basically the coordination and integration of information between these two, between which efferent are sensory neuron and efferent are the motor neuron. 
so this is again the diagram for the neuron cell glial cell these are basically those that uh, surrounds and supports the neuron glial cell of the para, uh, peripheral nervous system they consist of the satellite cell and next is the shivan cell satellite cell are those that surrounds the neuron cell body in the spinal ganglia ganglia are basically the group of neuron that are located outside the cns we have already discussed and next is the shivan cell that contain the myelinated axon in the peripheral nervous system glial cell of the central nervous system so they consist of the astrocytes oligodendrocytes microglia and the epidermal cells astrocytes are those that are involved in the regulation and transfer of material from the blood to the brain and helps in working of the blood brain barrier that is present in the cn next is the oligodendrocytes they are present in the myelinated axon of the central nervous system macrogilia are those glial cells that uh, are involved in the phagocyto damaged neuron ependymal cell are basically lie present in the lining central canal and the ventricle those which are involved in the help in the circulation of cerebrospinal fluid myelination of the axon is the wrapping of an axon with the myelin sheath is known as the myelination of the axon the brain there are the four main region of the brain so now we are going to discuss about the parts of central nervous system first is the brain brain consists of the four different anatomical region we will over here our focus will be only to know the structure and different structural component the physiology contain the functions of each and every part so the four region are the cerebrum second is the right and left hemisphere third is the diencephalon brain stem cerebellum so this is the brain this contain the these type of different region the next brain cerebrum is basically the largest region it consists of the twister and grooves that are basically the cellex and the gyria and beside this the deep grooves are also present that are known as the fissures and the can be the longitudinal that are the hemispheres and the divided lobes brain are the cerebrum lobes so the uh, lobe of the cerebrum contain of the parietal lobe and the other different parietal lobe basically contain the somatic sensory area and it has the homo nucleus next is the occipital lobe occipital lobe basically contain the visual area means they are involved in the senses of the visual next is the temporal lobe temporal lobe contain the olfactory sensory stimuli so they are involved in the sleep uh, in the uh, senses of the smell and they are basically the deep inside so all these different lobes are the part of cerebrum and other one is the frontal lobe frontal lobe contain the primary motor and the area that is involved in the speech language so the frontal lobe is basically involved in the processing of the speech and different languages beside this the cerebrum also contain the gray gray matter that is known as the cerebral cortex cerebral cortex is basically the superficial and it contain the cerebral white matter that is the deeper and corpus callosum this one is the corpus callosum and it connects the different type of hemispheres and this one is the corpus callosum this contain the two hemisphere that is the right and left hemisphere next is the diencephalon or interbrain diencephalon set uh, star uh, brain stem and enclosed by the cerebrum the uh, structure consists of the different regions like the contain the thalamus hypothalamus and the epithalamus region diencephalon thalamus region rely on the station from the spinal cord and the crude impulse they are involved are the pleasant and unpleasant signal so this one is the diencephalon region
basically these diagram are only for your understanding they uh, will not be included in your exam purpose diencephalon hypothalamus region is that that is present under the thalamus autonomic nervous system that is the emotional and the visceral brain basically they are involved in the body temperature water balance and the metabolism and besides it they are a uh, hypothalamus region and uh, since also involved in the maintenance or the regulation of the thirst and hunger and pleasure and pain diencephalon region epithalamus part contain the pineal body that contain the endocrine system means endocrine glands so this one is the pineal gland this is the strea medullaris and this one is the habinula so this basically contain the choroid plexus that contain the cerebrospinal fluid brain stem the brain stem region is about the size of the thumb and the areas of brain stem contain midbrain that conveys the impulse next is the bone that controls the breathing rate third region of the brain stem is the medulla oblongata the medulla oblongata function is to control or regulate the heart rate heart rhythm blood pressure swallowing and vomiting that are the part of the git cerebra cerebellum so now let's look at the cerebellum region of the brain this is basically the convoluted surface and the precise timing of the skeletal muscle is maintained by them how because they are involved in the, the auto balance next is the protection of the brain brain is being protected by the different type of layers like one is the meninges meninges contain the different region one is the dura mater eraconoid mater and the pia mater so they have the different function dura mater is basically the outer layer lining of the skull this one is the dura mater this is the outer layer of the skull arachnoid mater contain the blood vessel region and the sub arachnoid space is filled with the cerebrospinal fluid and pia mater covers the brain so the function of uh, these uh, layer of the meningitis is different for example cerebral spinal fluid is involved in the elimination of waste beside this one of the most impermeable barrier present inside the brain is that is the blood brain barrier this is the least permeable membrane in the body so all these layer and their function and their location is important from the bcq point of view a spinal cord a spinal cord its length is about 17th inches long so a spinal cord is that region of the central nervous system that is involved in the continuation of brain system and L below the ribs so this is the spinal cord that is continued from this brain stem region and it is located towards the rib canal so this is the anterior or frontal view and this is the posterior view clear so the spinal cord injury may occur if it occurs below above this line this line mean in this region it will result in the quadriplegia and if it occur below this region it will result in the paraplegia spinal cord spinal cord contain the two region one is the gray meter gray meter is basically consist of the posterior horn that are the dorsal and anterior horn that are the ventral and cerebral spinal fluid that is the central canal this is being protected by the vertebra dura meter and the arachnoid pia meter so these are the different cervical thoracic and lumbar region for example cervical 5 this is thoracic 7 lumbar 4 and sacral 3 they are basically forms the spinal cord region so a spinal cord region contains different nerve like cervical nerve thoracic nerve lumbar nerve sacral nerve coccygeal nerve so these are the different nerves like uh, for example the cervical spinal nerve that are eight in number so you have to memorize the number for the bcq point of view for your exam purpose for example if i will ask you how many cervical nerve are present they are basically the seven and they are involved in the upper aspect of the vertebral bodies and uh, cervical eight nerve this one okay the sensation of cervical 7 nerve is in the middle finger so total 8 cervical nerve from c1 to c8 and then the thoracic nerve 
that are the T1, T4, T6, T10, T12 and then the lumbar nerve and the secular nerve. So the sensation uh, of the cervical 7. Then the sensation of thoracic uh, T4 spinal nerve is approximately level of the nipple line. And the sensation of the thoracic 6 nerve root is approximately at the level of the button of his sternum. You just have to memorize the number of these are. For example, the head cervical nerve C1 to C8 forms the different region of a spinal cord that are the diaphragm, shoulder and neck. So all these are the cervical nerve from C1 to C8 basically are present in these region, diaphragm, shoulder and neck. And their damage may result in the respiratory paralysis. Again, this is important for BCQ point of view. And thoracic nerve that are T1 is present in the hands. T2 and T12 are present in the trunk and uh, T7 to L1 that is the lumbar are present at abdominal and T11 and L2 are present in the ejaculation. Lumbar nerve have the different functions like a, a lumbar 2 is involved in the hip, lumbar 3 is in the quadriceps and lumbar 4 and 5 are the hemistrings, knee foot. Sacral nerve S2 and S2-3 are involved in the pineal erection and the bowel and bladder movement. Spinal cord thoracic nerve, they are 12 number from T1 to T12. They are the intercostal nerve. So these are the thoracic nerve. You have to memorize their location. Spinal cord lumbar. Lumbar nerve are 5 in number from L1 to L5 and they form the different region like lower abdomen, lower abdomen, buttock, anterior and the medial thigh and the hip in the skin thigh. So these are the lumbar nerve you have to memorize their location for the bcq point of view inability of to flex the hip will result means their damage can result in the inability to flex the hip in the hip movement and the loss of the cutaneous sensation and the inability to the adapt the thigh next is the spinal cord nerve that are the sacral and the um, cochlear nerve that uh, sacral nerve are the five in number from S1 to S5 and they are present in the lateral and posterior leg foot and lower trunk. Their damage can result in the inability to extend the hip and inability to flex the knee. So this was all about the anatomy of the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. And uh, now in the next slide, uh, a quiz is for your self-assessment, you have to attempt the quiz in the comment section for the self-evaluation. Now let's have a quiz. These are some basic questions from this lecture for your self-assessment. Question number one, what is the difference between the sensory and motor deviation? Question number two, write down the location of the cervical and thoracic nerve. Question number three, what are the meninges and blood brain barrier? You have to write down the answer of these questions in the comment section.